So welcome to stage, what stage are we on? Belter, we're on the stage nine, stage eight, I can't remember which one it is, either way, we've got some drawing here of uh, Sam Smith, go check it out. He uh, does some good sketches while he talks about the race highlights and his little uh, experiences there. But he's a pretty good skilled artist, isn't he? I like that, it's almost like a 3D effect there. That's pretty, pretty good. I like how he's even getting the legs in, he's got a great, got a great eye, got a great hand. And uh, it's got some vegan experiences as well. So that's a shout out for Sam there. He's wrote me an email. And I've seen some of his work before. So thanks for sending the email, Sam. And uh, I'll just do a voice at, whoa. Getting, getting, <laughs> getting too lean these days. And my fitness right now is really poor. Anyway, the Volta, you came here for the Volta. Let's get stuck into Volta. So that's Sam Smith doing some sketches there. Go check out his channel, leave a link down below. And the Volta highlights, we have stage nine. Chris Froome's winning it. Just like I said he would. Just like I said he would. Chavez is good. Chris Froome could go way harder though, eh? He, 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 could, he could have attacked at the start of this climb and dropped everybody. He didn't want to do that though. He didn't want to make it that obvious. So he's done a very good job. Um, you know what I mean? Like he's just, he's, now he's ready to ride. You know, when he did that, he did two attacks just to test it out, string them out. And uh, when you pass the test, then you get the rest. And when you get the rest, you get the next test. And that's what Chris Room's on now. And he's just killing it now. Killing it now. Look at that. Did that Lance Armstrong, 2001 Outdoors salute. Yeah. Um, doing really good. Alberto Condor, what, where's he going? Where's Alberto going? Oh, so what happens is they've got to go back down the hill. Gotta go out down the hill. Contador is loving the, the showboating. But uh, stage nine, the Velta, everyone looks pretty gassed. Pretty gassed, and um, the, the belt is hot, man, hot and dry. It's like a big, big uh, box of sand with mountains around it. And Contador looks pretty, pretty cool. He looks, he's actually looking kind of a bit better. He looks a little bit, a bit better. He's, he's got thick eyebrows, and he got, he's got luscious eyebrows on called Contador. El Pistarero. He's got the luscious eyebrows, and um, he might get caught in his chain. But uh, tries his luck with Carapaz from Movistar. Always a Spaniard. If it's a Spaniard or something, the mountains is on the attack. Chris Froome Dog signing in. Stage nine. Oh, who's down on the deck? Wow. Ouch. That looks like Adam. No, that's not Adam Hansen. I don't think so it is. But the UAE guys do good. The stage nine after the win. Why is there three guys on the podium? <laughs> Why is there three? Maybe they won the team classification for the day. GC favourites up the climb. What is Van Garderen doing? His bike is at 45, 40 degrees almost. And what's he doing? He's about to crash into Contador. He's about to take out Contador's down tube. And you've got Jack Hagers up there. Aussie boy mixing it up with the big dogs. Big dogs. Doing it easy. Jack Hag look at... Well, hang, what's, what's Jack doing? He's looking at... <laughs> did someone Photoshop Jack Hag in there? I know, I know he did a really good ride yesterday. But look at that. Look, Jack Hag's doing, look to the left. And look to the left, his head's, his head's stuck. Maybe the Oracle Green Edge chiropractor just tweaked his head and he's, he's just riding like that all day. Maybe that's going to be a new pose. Chris Froome does the head down. Jack does the head left. But look at that spectacular ride there by Jack Hag. Looking over, not even, not even drafting. Not even drafting in no man's land up the hill going, you guys, he's probably saying, guys, are you going to go any faster? Do I need to get a draft here? Everyone's grimacing and Haig's looking to the left. Big move up from Haig. Uh, Posse Vivo, the little guy, the elf, the dwarf of the, uh, the heart. what's that? Did you get the old Juro sign? I know he's got new stuff, but um, looks like old shifters, old, old shifters new break. Posse Vivo did good again. Always a rider to be watched. Chavez, that Colombian grimace. The Colombian grimace. Mike Woods in the distance there. Adam Yates, hand number one. And I'm not sure what that is that young rider's category. I'm not sure. Froome up there with his eyes closed. Still getting used to being on the podium. Been a bit of a break. I think it's still the first time he's been on the podium for a while. For stage wins since maybe 2016 maybe. Um, he's got a lot of trophies there, hasn't he? Wow, that's, that's a nice photo. That's a nice photo from Tim DeWaller. Very nice. Um, what else have we got here? Is this even recording? Yeah, it is. Toby Slugvig, Mark Solar, and it's pretty sight, high sea height, isn't it? It's amazing, just banging it out. Oh, it looks hot, man. It's a hot day. Jersey's unzipped. Hydration is the name of the game. What's that pink jersey in there? What's that pink jersey? It's like a Team Telecom. 
Looks like a Team Telecom rider in there. It's like coming back from the 2003. Whoa, here we go. What's that pink jersey in there? Looks pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, well, it almost looks like um, Oscar Servillo for a minute there. So let's see what else we've got here. We've got Van Gardwin, TJ Van Gardwin doing the Grimace, the Richie Port Grimace, and Jack Haig's just there. Wow. That's a big move up from Haig. Through him with the classic hand punch. And uh, look at that. But you can tell Froome's, he's just ready to go. Froome could have ridden probably another 20 minutes of that wattage in the last K. Ready to go, ready to go. Ready to go. Bad day, ninth. Beaten by Jack Haig. So, uh, his bike's pretty, it's a pretty small bike, isn't it? Oh, um, Benidorm. Wow, big crowds. Big crowds at the Velta. What are these guys doing? Sharing bottles? He's smiling. He's like, yep, thanks for that. Is there carbs in the bottle? Is there enough sugar in there? Enough sugar in there? Don't do a Richie Port out the Wes last minute gel, do we? Um, Nicholas Roach is doing it. He's in third position now. PMC moving up. Moving up. Chris Boatman's, um, yeah, wow, Jens does. He's the outlast, a nasty crash. Oh, look at that leg. Youch. That's it. You know, you're crashing, a lot of pain. Your DS walks up and he says, mate, here's a spare bike. You gotta ride 150 Ks by yourself now. Chase, it's like, it's a tough sport, man. It's a tough sport. It's, what do you do? Oh, man, that's hardcore, isn't it? That's fucking, you gotta be, can you imagine how fit you gotta be? You have a crash, you got 150k to go, and you gotta chase down the peloton of professional riders, man. Fucking hell. How hard's it gotta be? How hard's it gotta be? Wow. So anyway, this is stage nine. Chris Froome winning. Just like I said, we've got surprise rides from Rush and Haig, and uh, Haig's chocolate, vegan chocolates. There you go, that's the Tour of Spain stage nine. Chris Froome gonna win it. Just like I said, you don't have to agree with me, but you're still gonna be wrong. I wanna see, I wanna see the Anglero stage. I wanna see Froomeing. <laughs> it's like a twin turbo spooling up, isn't he? Twin turbo uh, 13B rotary, mate. 20B rotary, twin turbs in that Cosmo motor. Chris Froome getting it done and dusted, carbon the fuck up, spinning the fuck up, cadencing the fuck up, red jerseying the fuck up. You got any comments or questions, hit me up down below. Stage nine Velta, done and dusted. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing. Yeah. I want the time.